I was a power lifter in high school, so I have to eat an insane amount as all people who are bulking know. Chicken just keeps on piling up and piling up. Hey y'all, my name is Jaron Lewison, and today we're gonna talk a little bit about my diet. So I tend to lift uh, six days a week, and then Sunday is usually my rest day, and I generally play tennis on Sundays, so I'm still active pretty much every day of the week. I don't necessarily eat breakfast, which isn't great, I know, but I love to go to the gym in the morning, so if I have too much to eat for breakfast, then I kind of feel queasy at the gym. After my workout, which takes about an hour and a half or so, hour and 45 if I do cardio, I'll go immediately for the protein shake. I've got half a cup of milk, I've got half a cup or a quarter cup of ice, two tablespoons of peanut butter, and a nice hearty scoop of my protein powder. I love a little chocolate and peanut butter little mixture, it kinda makes me feel like I'm having a milkshake, so it's almost like I'm cheating, but I'm not. It's weird, I'm a creature of habit. I have the same thing for lunch every single day. I'm not sure if that's a great thing or a bad thing, but I go for my eggs, my three eggs, a half cup of spinach or so, and then my bagel, because I really need some healthy carbs, and then go for some cream cheese on that bagel, because hey, you, you gotta have it taste good, right? I tend to get hungry about two or three hours after that. Protein bar is usually my favorite. I really like zone bars. Dark chocolate almonds, probably my favorite. So you guys can find that. They're hard to find in LA. So I'll bring them from Texas and I'll, I'll uh, put them in my luggage, a couple of boxes to see how long it can last me. I think that it's important, especially when you're working out to continue that protein uptake. No matter what I'm doing, Every day, got to make sure I get at least that supplemental like 35 or so grams of protein that I end up getting from my shake and then my bar as well, just to make sure that my muscles still have enough protein to continue repairing. That makes it about 637. That's when I'll have my dinner, whether it's chicken that I prepare in any number of ways or sometimes a little bit of red meat. I limit my red meat intake, but I still love steak. I love hamburgers. I love all that kind of stuff. I just don't have it too often, maybe like once a week. Fish generally, I really enjoy. And I always, always have to have a vegetable. No matter what my dinner is, I've got to have some kind of a vegetable. Spinach is my favorite. I think asparagus is really great. I also love zucchini, avocados I can throw on there whenever I have them. You can still be healthy and find different ways to mix it up. If I work out, I tell myself it's okay to have like ice cream and cake at night, <laughs> but I have a tremendous sweet tooth. And if I try to just like cancel all sweets, I'm just gonna lose my mind and be super unhappy. So I've got to have a little bit at a time to keep myself sane. I'm not gonna lie, I had like three pieces of cake. They were not that big, but cause I had played tennis and I had lifted as well in the morning. So I was like, oh, it's fine. Like I can have those three pieces. And afterwards I could tell my body was a little, little sluggish. It was like, come on, man. Like, what are, what are you doing here? I'm a, I'm a younger guy, so I, I don't have to worry about it too much. My metabolism kind of keeps me regulated myself, but eventually I, I know it's coming.